There are pressures on painting contractors these days to use more environmentally friendly systems. Uh, the tra traditional solvent based systems are very bad for the environment and contain high VOC levels. So we've developed a minimal VOC level product, a range of products um, that the decorator can use and goes quite a long way to matching the performance of the traditional solvent based products. The traditional water-based systems were suffering from poor flow and wet edge time. They would dry very quickly so that you couldn't go back and rework in, into the paints. Um, and brush marking has always been a very uh, big problem. The gloss levels that you get with a traditional water-based paint have always been relatively low as well. We've got a team of professionally trained decorators on site and we develop the product in conjunction with ours. We produce different rheologies of paint and they each applied them and fed back how they liked it and how it compared to a traditional solvent based paint. So we tried as much as possible to produce a paint that had the same amount of brush drag and also gave you the same flow and finish of a solvent based paint. The breakthrough was this advanced polymer technology that we use in all three of the products that we've developed. It's based on alkyd emulsion technology and it allows us to produce a product that has significantly better flow, significantly better gloss levels and general aesthetic appearance matching that of a solvent based finish. The traditional water based paints generally have a lot of brush marks in them whereas the fast flow is uh, that's significantly reduced. So this is uh, the sort of flow and levelling we get from a traditional water-based gloss paint. This is the flow and levelling we get from a solvent-based gloss paint. You can see it's obviously much less brush marks. And this is the crown fast flow, which we've gone significant steps to try and improve the flow to match the solvent-based product. And to test it, generally in the lab, we would test gloss. Um, we would take the paint and we would draw it down on a piece of clean glass like this. We would then uh, draw down the paint. We get what we call a drawdown bar. We would put a drawdown bar onto the glass, put a bit of wet paint in front of the bar and draw it down in one constant smooth motion. And we let it dry overnight and then we measure it with what we call a gloss meter. This is an example of one here. Um, what this does is it shines a light onto the dried paint film, which is then reflected back up and there's sensors in this machine that measure the angle of light or the amount of light coming back at 20, 60 and 85 degrees. The finish determines how much light's reflected back. For the satin and the gloss top coats, the most important are 20 and 60 degrees, which we're measuring here. Um, this is the fast flow gloss. So we're typically getting a gloss value of 88 gloss units at 20 degrees, which is the sort of levels you get for a traditional solvent based gloss paint. The satins is tested in the same way, uh, we'll draw it down on the piece of glass but we've got a lower specification to match to than a gloss paint obviously because it's uh, less reflective for the light. Um, we match our fast flow satins to a traditional solvent based satin finish. We developed this system originally as a gloss paint, we then carried that technology that we'd used from the polymers into developing an undercoat and also a satin finish. We've developed a contemporary satin finish to match the solvent-based satin finishes. In order to get the full benefits from the system, the optimum flow and uh, aesthetic appearance, it's very important to use the fast flow undercoat with the, top, with the satin on the gloss finishes. Mm -hmm.